Yep, hey fellas, I got back with the parts of the rusty hand drill and it's a uh, vinegar. Normally it's enough, I know maybe two days uh, to lift the rusty parts to the vinegar. Now I left them for for all week because I had no time to check them and now we can see that we have the rods here and I can slightly remove them with the brush and that's a really cool effect of course you can use the sanding paper or, or some similar abrasive and yeah it can be easily removed I was a little bit worried about the plastic part, but I see that it's good. And now I can see the Sienna David problem. On it, and we have the nice clear handle. Have metal parts here, and uh, I put all the parts in the grease with the vinegar, and I don't know how it react. So now I will test it. Just cleaning that reed. See that some of the grease is gone out, and that's good for me. It will be easier to clean all the tool. Of course, the check was all rusty, and I see that now I can clean it almost with paper. Uh, yep, okay, I will clean it and then I will prepare it for the painting. I hope that I will do that. Okay, I have the parts, clean it out and I will prepare them with a primer for the painting. And uh, maybe not did a 100% good job on a rust removal and with the grease it's really hard to remove it. I will try to take it to my friend and wash it out. Uh, of course, you will not see that on the video. Yep, now I think I will put the drill back or put the housings here and uh, I will prepare it with a primer and then I will prepare it for the painting and of course paint it. Okay, now I will try to apply the primer. Of course, I have shaken it for two or more minutes before the use.
and now I don't know where to put it. Yep, okay, I will figure out where to put it and now I will let it dry for the 6 hours. Okay, I cannot wait until the primer will go out, so I will test it with a hot air gun. And the primer is dried out and uh, it's time to put a chrome painting here and I'm just going to take it for the first time, <laughs> sorry if something will go wrong and I will dry on the handle first. And it's really, really shiny. Yep, I will paint the. I forgot about the paint. Find out. Yep. Uh, I will paint this one in black. I will do that out of camera because I don't have space here for doing that. Yep, I will check if I painted it good or not. Okay, I will paint it in black and I will be back with the sample. Now I have all parts painted with the colors I want to and uh, I'm just blowing the air with the hot air gun to make the all the things happen faster. Normally I need to wait two hours before the paints will be good to touch and so on so on so on. So I will leave the parts with the hot air gun for some time, maybe for half an hour and of course then I will assemble the drill. Okay, I'm here for assemble this badass drill and uh, so I forgot to turn the camera on. I just uh, removed the, uh, the masking tape and uh, put the cover on the back side. Now I will put the screws here on this cover. Screws on it, the screw only for holding the drill, and you can see how it looks now. And now I love it the way it, it looks. And yeah, I have the T handle here, just paid on the plastic back, and we can still see the CNA David Roulet sign here. I'll try to put it. Yep. It goes here, I will touch it. Yep. Now goes the screw. And I have repainted the handle because I just missed one side of it. Uh, yeah, and I hope now it's good. Yeah, it seems it looks good. I will put it here and tighten it. We have the 
that drill ready for use we can see how it looks and now only question is what we need to do with the check here if I need to try to restore it or just replace it with a new one because now as you can see it's really not looks good when you are looking at this drill yeah but I think we will discuss that in a in a community folder on the channel and when I will end this video I will replace it or restore it and yeah I have decided to restore the old chuck have removed it and now remove the rest of the action. trying not to damage the painted surface And the final and most important step of this drill life is the chuck installment. I will put the chuck on it. I will tie it to the end. Yep, and now it's all completed, it's look good, of course now I see that I'm not very good painter and <laughs> I will try to improve that skills in the future, but of course still it's a nice drill now and it will go somewhere, I don't know, to live in a shell <laughs> at some people's. Yep, for now thank you for watching for my hand illustration video. And of course, always waiting for Will to be back in my future videos. Bye! And the final and most important step of this drill life is the chuck installment. I will put the chuck on it. I will tie it to the end. Yep. And now it's all completed. It's look good. Of course, now I see that I'm not very good painter, and <laughs> I will try to improve that skills in the future. But of course, still it's a nice drill now, and it will go somewhere. I don't know to live in a shell <laughs> at some people's. Yeah, for now, thank you for watching for my hand illustration video, and of course, always waiting for welcome you back in my future videos. Bye.